Has this ever happened to you? Are you kidding me? Isn't this the most annoying thing you've ever seen? I mean, why on earth do they make tailgates contoured in the first place? It's almost like they want you to spill your drink. Like they want you to be uncomfortable when you sit down on it. Well, there's a solution, and I'm going to show you how to install it. So we have to make the tailgate flat so that we don't spill drinks. It's more comfortable to sit on. We can put different things on the top. So is there a company that offers a product that does this? Well, the answer is yes, and that's Mountain Hatch. So let's see what the contents are of the box. All right, so of course we get this awesome sticker. I think half the reason we buy things these days if you're an off-roader is for the stickers. We get some hardware that comes with it that's going to replace our factory hardware. And looking at this for the first time, to be honest, I wish that it was black hardware. Um, this has kind of been an issue with some other things that we've done, the JCR off-road bed rack and the headache rack. Uh, came with stainless steel hardware when everything else is black and it kind of makes it stand out not necessarily in a good way so you know i tell you what beggars can't be choosers and honestly i could probably go down to the hardware store match up these threads and i could just go ahead and get some black hardware if it bothers me that bad and then of course we have the actual insert itself and the insert itself is half inch thick fda approved heavy duty plastic with a uv inhibitor so you can use this as a cutting board it is food safe it's not going to fade on you it's not going to uh crack on you all these different things it's going to last for a good long while i do like the fact that there are cup holder cutouts that are already cut into this that's kind of cool you know and they're recessed down in the bottom obviously the bolts and the washers will sit down into these holes as well so you're going to uh be able to have again that flat surface right across the top we have the good old made in the usa american flag on it you can't beat that and then on the other side there is a logo of mountain hatch itself so this is going to be pretty simple to install what you're going to do is you're going to take out each one of these bolts that come factory there should be eight of them right here on the factory tailgate cover you're going to need a t30 torx bit and some type of unscrewing mechanism whether it's a a, a nut driver whether it is a, uh, a a drill whatever it is to take out these bolts All right, so now that we've got all of the factory screws out, what we're going to do is we're going to set the tailgate cover on top. Once you've got the holes lined up, you can go ahead and put your washer and your bolt through the hole. Go hand tight it first. That way, if you have to make any adjustments in it, you can. So when we're securing these bolts down, they are a Phillips head. So we're going to switch over to a Phillips head bit in our drill. So when we put them down, just tighten them down enough. We can always go back and retighten them with a hand screwdriver. All right, so now that we've got everything tightened down, I do want to say that the tailgate, some may say, well, it's still shut. It still shuts perfectly. No obstructions, no nothing. One thing that I will say, too, is I wonder sometimes, and these are countersunk. You can sort of see how they're, they go in and they are countersunk. Um, I wonder if you're actually cutting food on here, if, you know, things like chicken juice and all that would get down in those. But I suppose you could always just flush those out or blast those out a little bit later, especially when you got back. Just kind of be careful of that. Just be aware of it, especially if you're preparing food. But as far as the install, it's really just that simple. So what's the final verdict about the mountain hatch tailgate insert for the Jeep Gladiator? Honestly, I think it's really, really cool. I uh, can't wait to go take it out camping. Can't wait to test it out there in the field and sort of see what it does. I really like the fact that it feels very, very heavy duty. Um, I love the fact that it makes a flat surface all the way across the tailgate. I can do food preparation here. I can put my stove on the top of it. I can set my drinks anywhere on it. I can sit on it comfortably. 
it feels very, very well made and very well thought out. As far as the installation goes, could not be simpler. Eight bolts you take out, eight bolts you put back in, that's about it. I, I mean, again, I don't know how much more simple it can really get. Uh, I, I don't even know if I consider it a one beer job, but if you nurse that beer, I think you'll be all right. So with that being said, uh, that's my thoughts and conclusions. Uh, pros and cons. Let's talk about some pros and cons with it. Uh, the pros, again, very, very durable. It looks, you know, very heavy duty, very good quality. The install was a piece of cake and I love the design of it. Uh, some of the cons, if there is, uh, the price, it can be a little bit pricey. I think that, you know, when it's not on sale, you're looking at about $260 or so. Uh, if you do catch it on sale, you'll, you'll get, you know, much lower than that. Mountain Hatch does do some specials from time to time, so definitely check those out. Uh, the other thing that I would say too is again, some of these little uh, recesses in here may be prone to getting, uh, you know, if you're doing food preparation, may be prone to getting things like, you know, uh, blood or, or, or that sort of juice that's on chickens and things like that into these little holes. So just be conscious of that whenever you're cutting other things so you don't cross contaminate your food very important as far as food safety especially if you're out there on the trail so if it's within your budget i think that this is a very good piece of equipment for your overlanding rig uh your camping rig or whatnot um you know i would definitely recommend this um so with that we're going to wrap up this video and conclude it i'm gary from dixie overland we'll see you all down the road